What's good YouTube and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna bring you guys the top five Warzone loadouts to run in season two. Now these five loadouts are gonna be all based on my opinion alone and based on a little bit kind of how the meta is shaping up to be. And most of these loadouts do run in FFAR as a secondary, unless it's being used for sniper support. So just kind of be aware of that. The FFAR is dominating Warzone right now, so it's kind of a must use gun at, at this moment. If you find any of this information useful, or if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like the video. And if you guys want to see any more of my uploads in the future, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. That way you know every time I upload a video. I'm currently in the process of transitioning back into Twitch. So if you want to see my streams, then when I start streaming again next week, follow my Twitch. The link will be down in the description down below for that. But that's enough for me. Let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into these loadouts. So for the first loadout we're going to go over is the most obvious one. Um, it is the FFAR and the AUG. This loadout is absolutely dominating Warzone right now. The FFAR is by far the most broken gun in the game right now. And coupling that with the AUG is just crazy because this gun just doesn't lose to really any other guns. It might lose to the AMAC sometimes, but most of the time you're just going to win. So let's go ahead and start off with the FFAR. I want to I want to go ahead and just get it known that um, a lot of these loadouts do have the FFAR because it is so dominant right now. Um, so what you could do is you could swap it out for MAC-10 if you want to. If you don't want to run double AR, which a lot of people don't, you could use a MAC-10. But just know that the MAC-10 cannot beat the FFAR. Okay, so from the start, we're going to start off with the muzzle. You want to run the agency suppressor for obvious reasons. Um, I opt to use the reinforce heavy to get that extra bullet velocity and um, effective damage range. But you could also use the takedown barrel, which is really good because it doesn't change your sprint movement speed or your aim walking speed. It's honestly really good. Um, you could go with that one. It's, it's a pretty solid barrel as well. Uh, then for the grip, you're going to want to use the field agent grip. No questions about that one. Uh, the mag, you can use a 50 round salvo. It's same, no questions. Um, at the time of this video going live, the speed grip is actually bugged. So it gives you a recoil reduction on your vertical. So it actually gives you, it helps you give a, a tighter spread, even though it says it only gives aim down sight time. Uh, it does increase or decrease your vertical recoil. So, uh, like I said, at the time of this going in the video until they, until they fix it or whatever they do, uh, the speed grip will be a better option to use. Now onto the AUG. <clears throat> um, the AUG is a pretty standard loadout as well. It's the agency suppressor. Um, previously what the AUG was running was the titanium barrel to get the extra fire rate. Um, but it doesn't actually give you that much on bullet velocity. So right now what you want to use is the strike team barrel because it does give you fire rate. Um, and with the effective damage range, the guns have no like damage drop off. So um, this barrel is n not working how it's supposed to work or something. J God did a video on it. The, the barrel has no or the AUG has no damage drop off. So use the strike team, the best, best barrel. <clears throat> uh, the drum or the mag is going to be kind of I guess subjective, whatever you want to do with it, but I and a lot of other people think that the 45 round drum is, is good enough. You don't need anything else. Everything else hurts your aim down sight time. Um, so it's just not worth it. So just run the 45. If you want to use more ammo, you can, but it's not really necessary because you're going to take them down in um, either in the, either two to nine shot. So just really no point. And for the last one, you're going to use an actual 3x. Um, pretty standard, like I said, you could use a 2x or the SUSAT. A lot of people have been running the SUSAT right here. It's a multi zoom uh, because it gives no visual recoil. Uh, so you could use that, but I'm not a fan. So I just go with a 3x. Okay, and on to the second loadout. So for our second loadout, we're going to run, be running the Car 98. Um, so the Car 98 is really good right now. Uh, with DMR gone, you could effectively snipe incredibly good and the kilo just can't just beam you from long distances the dog can't even really do that either so the sniper right now snipers right now are really solid uh it is kind of annoying at the same time but sniper the sniper meta is is pretty good right now um so for the car 98 you want to run the monolithic um you could take this off if you want to i know um metaphor doesn't run it if you want to focus strictly on ads you could also do that um but for the purpose of this video we're going to be running a monolithic I want to run the 27.6 Syngard, uh, the TAC laser to help increase your aim down sight time. 
And then you go, I just run a standard sniper scope. I don't run the variable zoom. The zoom does decrease your ADS time, um, but it gives you one extra zoom if you want to do that. So it's up to you. Um, it's all preference. I prefer to use just this regular sniper scope. And then I use the stippled grip tape. And now onto the FFAR. The FFAR is the same loadout, uh, like I said. Um, with a card 98, though, if you don't want to run the... It depends on if you're playing solos or if you're playing duos or trios, whatever. Um, you could swap this out for an AS Val. And then for the AS Val, you'd be running the Sparrow, Tack Laser, No Sight. You want to run the Commando Foregrip, 30 round mag, and I believe it's... Which stock is it? I believe it's this stock. <coughs> so if you wanted to run this uh, for solos, I wouldn't run it for anything higher than duos. You could maybe get away with it in duos, but for solos for sure, this is a pretty solid loadout. Right here, you're going to be every uh, FFAR with the AS Val because nothing can out TTK this gun. Um, so you could do this while keeping your sniper for long range. Now onto the third loadout, the previous king of rifles, I suppose. Uh, the Amax. The Amax is still really good. It's just really hard to beat the AUG. The AUG just shoots so fast and hits you so accurately, while the Amax requires a lot more precision. It has its recoil, obviously. Um, but I do think the Amax is better from range than the AUG can be because of the because of the bounce that the bursts have. Um, but the Amax is still really good and it's a very standard loadout that's been the same. The monolithic suppressor, the zodiac barrel, VOK three times optic, commando foregrip, and 45 round mag. Um, this is gonna be the Amax that you run pretty much all the time as long as it's meta. So uh yeah, this is the this is a loadout you're gonna want to run. And if honestly, like I said, it's really good still, it just just loses to the um to the AUG. A lot, so. And then obviously we have an FFAR as the secondary. Again, like I said, the FFAR is all over these loadouts right now because it's really just a gun. The meta right now is just you have to run the FFAR. And again, if you don't want to run the FFAR, you can run a MAC-10. And I'll go ahead and show you guys my MAC-10 loadout. So I use the agency suppressor. Uh, you want to use the reinforced heavy. Then you use the field agent grip. I'm going to use a 55 round drum because this one gives you re extra reload time, the salvo, but um, it hurts your ADS. It's like two times slower on your ADS, uh, the, the, how much it affects. I think this was like 33 milliseconds. This one's 66. So just run the drum. It's more beneficial. Um, and then for the stock, I use the Raider stock. This one helps provide with your ADS. Um, Firing speed and it basically it's the sprint to fire time is the most beneficial. So that's why I'm using that one right now. Um, but yeah, this would be the Mac 10 loadout that you would use if you don't want to run the FFAR, which I don't blame you because it is does get kind of boring using the FFAR in every single loadout. Okay, now on to the fourth loadout. We're gonna talk about a gun that people really just stopped using, but is still really good. Um, this is a gun that like Tifu and Symphony were using for a long time in tournaments. Um even during the kilo meta, people were like they were still just using this and winning. Um, so we're gonna talk about the Ram 7. Ram 7 is still a solid gun. It has a little bit more recoil and it's not straight up and down on, at the very end of the recoil. So you have to pull down into the left, but it's still really good. Um, so it's a very basic loadout. It's a monolithic suppressor. You want to use the FSS Ranger, the VLK three times optic, optic commando foregrip, and a magazine. It's very standard for a lot of the modern warfare guns. You're going to be using a, uh, a mag, a commando, a barrel, VLK, and monolithic. So that's kind of just how the modern warfare guns are. But this gun still slaps. It's incredibly strong. Um, and yeah, you could also pair this with a sniper if you wanted to and take the VLK off and put on a, um, I think it's what, the mini reflex sight. Yeah, mini reflex. But I really don't think this is a good sniper support gun, but I have seen people use that. Um, but yeah. And the secondary, of course, FFAR as usual. But again, you can use uh, the MAC-10. MAC-10 is, is still pretty solid. It's just much harder beating the FFAR, especially since the FFAR has like 
mid to long range damage in the FF and the MAC 10 does not. And for the fifth and final loadout, we're going to talk about the Stoner LMG. The Stoner at the beginning of the season was a lot more used uh, than it is right now because people hadn't really like truly figured out the DMR yet. And then the DMR came out and that just dominated everything, obviously. And then the AUG was like really good. And then the agency suppressor got messed up. So the DMR was like, or the, the Stoner was used, but it kind of just stopped being used. But right now, once the AUG gets nerfed, the Stoner actually would be a really good gun again. Once we go back to the meta where a whole bunch of guns were viable um, and it wasn't dominated by just one gun. So yeah, so let's go just go ahead and get into the loadout. Um, so what you wanna, you're gonna wanna run is the agency suppressor for, like I said, obvious reasons. The cavalry lancer is what's gonna give you the best bullet velocity. It does hurt your vertical and horizontal recoil, um, but that is why we have the field agent grip right here to help control that recoil that you're gonna be losing out on. You could be using the 120 round mag or use the fast mag. I prefer to use the fast mag just because I like that, the extra reload speed time. Um, but I know a lot of people do use the 120 round mag and it doesn't actually hurt your aim down sight time at all. It doesn't hurt your mobility either. So, um, it's really just preference when it comes to those two. And then lastly, you're going to be running the Axial 3X. Um, this is the best sight when you're using a Cold War gun as a primary. Um, it's going to give you the best sight, but it's honestly really close to being like more like a 4X. It's a little bit more zoomed than the VLK. So if you want, you could use um the vision tech 2x which is like basically uh cold wars vlk even though it says 2x and modern warfare says 3x j god did a whole video about how uh the sites don't really match like they're supposed to so the 2x is more closer to the vlk if that's kind of what you want but i do think the the 3x is a lot more beneficial it just has a little bit more bugs um but then again Honestly, don't think I would use the FFAR. You could if you want to, but since you're running an LMG, you're just going to get a lot more, uh, lose out on a lot more mobility. So this is, I think, is a loadout where I would definitely use um, the MAC-10. So like I said, you're going to be running the Agency Suppressor. You're going to be running the Reinforced Heavy. You're going to be running the Field Agent Grip, the Drum, and the Raider Stock. Yeah, that's the loadout. Um, so again, if you liked the video and found any of this information helpful and you enjoyed the video, don't forget to press the like button. And if you want to make your way back to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications. That way you know every time I upload a video. As I said, I'll be back to streaming soon and I'll be streaming on twitch.tv. So you can find that in the link in the description down below. And I will see you guys in the next video.